take you to Rio, Rio, fly all the Seeing Rio is feeling Rio, and the best way to do it is through music. Never not in the mood for Brazilian music. Yeah. And it's, it's like your tish is hardwired to Brazilian music. <laughs> What's the first part of your body that moves to music? The head. Okay, I like it. It takes a lot to bring out a spark in me, but it's there somewhere. Yeah. I mostly vibrate. Okay, that's good. Yeah. There's a bit in them. The neck, the neck, the neck okay. or the... Yeah, it's more Indian. Depends where you're from. That's more Indian. Yeah. yeah. The music is real good. You have to have what I call the angry face. Show me your tune face. Like when you hear... <laughs> it's like... It's like, that's okay. disgustingly good. You go... Mm. Yeah, you... <laughs> and then once you do that, you get the ooh -wees. Now there are a lot of important messages that you can take away from this film. The importance of conservation, the plight of endangered species, looking out for each other. But the one thing that I took away from this film is never, ever trust anyone called Nigel. Oh, I know I'm not a pretty birdie, but I used to be quite a looker. Jermaine, it's lovely to meet you. It um, is lovely. Everyone tells <laughs> me that. I've always said. Like, it's nice to meet you. Like, and I think, man, it must be really nice to <laughs> meet me. Um, Nigel, mm -hmm. he's not your average cockatoo. Is it, isn't he? Oh, well, I wouldn't say so. I've not seen many like him. Hmm. For one, evil. I've never he's seen more him. evil. Well, yeah, I was going to say, it must be more fun. Is it more fun playing the villain? You can kind of... I think so, but I've never been cast as the good guy, so I don't know. It's fun. In terms of the, the, the process of, of voice work and doing animation, um, are you kind of, you know, are you flailing around in the booth? Are you... A little bit. Very much kind of acting out the role, or how does it, I mean, how yeah. does it work for you? Carlos really encourages okay. you to do that, so, yeah, I have to do that. It's you embarrassing. You said you didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I used to, I used to do, um, I used to do radio ads, right? Radio yeah. ads in New Zealand, and I used to uh, go in the booth and I'd turn the lights off so no one can see me. Like, I do different voices and stuff in the ads. I'd do it in the dark so no one can see me going. Oh, if you try this thing, you'll be cool. Oh, you know, so <laughs> it just embarrasses me to do the faces for for no one. Yeah, Nigel's quite persuasive. I mean, he well, he kind of persuades this group of monkeys to do his dirty work for him. Yeah, that's the way I persuade yeah. people. If you had your own trip of monkeys to, I I would I would like a trip. What would you of have monkeys. them do? I don't know. Get collect collect bracelets. I don't know. Fruit picking? Yeah, be handy for breakfast in the morning. Yeah, it'd be great to stack mango, please. Yeah. And then they, they can go. Fruit bracelets and mango. Great. Right. I'll be wearing all these bracelets eating mangoes. <laughs> and I don't know what else monkeys are capable of, really. It's I good. know they can do those two things. Good start. And, um, Jermaine, it's lovely to meet you. Likewise. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sweet nightmares. <laughs>